Hello, sweet souls. Happy Wednesday. It is June 19th. Um, we do have a full moon coming in on June 21st. So maybe I'll make a second reading, a full moon reading. But this one's just going to be an energy read to see what's going on in the current energy. Uh, we're going to call on St. Michael. St. Michael, please return to sender. Anyone sending a will through thought, word, or action toward myself or the viewer, we're going to call on the Holy Spirit, angel, saints, spirit guides, and ancestors, and ask for a message for your greater good. <sighs> to yawn. Okay, so first thing I want to tell you, my guides were talking to me last night about when... You know, we live in a world where everyone has an opinion. Like, the majority of this world wants to judge everyone. Judge the way you look. You know, judge how what you know, what your status is, how much money you make. You know, your thoughts, your feelings, your opinions. Everyone's got an opinion. Everyone has judgment. Not everyone, but unawakened people. And so... What they were saying to me last night is when you know that someone has placed judgment on you by lying about you, slandering you, you know, calling you crazy, telling everyone you're crazy, when they call judgment on you, even though on a conscious level you don't feel like you're affected, right? They want you to know that they want you to immediately surrender whoever has placed judgment on you and the judgment they placed on you. Immediately surrender it to God and ask God to replace that energy with love and peace. Because even though on a conscious level you don't feel like that it has affected you, on a subconscious level, that is a dark seed waiting to germinate. And the spiritual realm wants you to be aware of this and so that you can nip it in the bud. You don't want something to be in the subconscious mind a negative seed planted that will grow and come out in the future in the form of fear, anxiety, okay? So they definitely wanted me to share that with whoever it resonates for. So we're going to see what's in the current energy, guys. I hope you're having an amazing day. Current energy, current energy. Death, huge transformation. Someone's going through a transformation. This is an awakening, a death and a rebirth. What's the challenge? What's the challenge? In reverse, somebody's challenged because all that they did to try to win at all costs, none of it worked. Five of Swords in reverse, it went back to them. If they tried to create some sort of conflict in your life, it's gone back to wherever this is and they're challenged. All right, let's see. The focus, focus, focus. Somebody's focused on a king of swords that protects you. You are this empress of energy. Now, this can be someone in the 3D realm. This can be a partner, a friend, um, or this can also be St. Michael. Someone's focused on you and your protection. That's really what, they, what I'm getting. They're saying someone's focused on your protection. You're this high vibrational, creative, divine femme energy, whether you're a man or a woman, and you have so much protection. Somebody's focused on this. I almost get the feeling like somebody's like, oh, I shouldn't do that. I know that person is protected. Oh, I shouldn't do that. And in some cases, they do it anyway. Past energy. Yeah. In the past, there was an interference. There was a queen of swords in reverse. This was a narcissistic feminine energy that interfered with whatever union you were in. Now, this doesn't have to be romantic. This could be a friend, a family member. But someone interfered in your union. You are this earth angel. So whoever this queen of swords is in reverse, they're going to be paying a very heavy price for opposing an earth angel. I can tell you that. Uh, let's see what your strength is. Strength for the collective. Yeah. You're an earth angel. You're a high priestess. You're highly intuitive. You're God's baby and God protects you. That's a strength for you. Relying on your intuition. Your strength is your connection with God. And you're committed and devoted. That's also a strength for you. You're not going to give up on yourself. You're not going to give up on your dreams. No one can intimidate you and make you feel that you can't be successful at anything. Yeah, you're too committed and devoted. And I want to say this. Because yesterday I got a comment. Someone saying that not to mention God, that it's spirit and not God. I'm sorry, but, you know, I'm really balanced and peaceful but when you try to bully me into not speaking about God, you need to get on to the next reader. I'm not a reader for you. I have no tolerance for that energy. So if you don't want to hear about God, then I'm not the reading for you. And I will not not speak about God. If it offends you, that's your problem. That's not my problem. 
I'm here to help those that are open to receive it. God is the creator of all, and I will always talk about God. I will always talk about him. So, bye, Felicia. That's all I got to say about that. Near future. That really just irked me, though. You know, they can say whatever they want to me. I don't get offended. But if they talk about God, that sets me off. It sets me off. Now, need, needless to say, she got blocked. She got blocked. You know, people just trying to cause drama. Yeah, we have a community of people here in the near future that's been spreading lies about you. And a tower is coming for every single one of them. Every single one of them is going to experience a tower. <clears throat> They've been spreading these lies and then watching to see if it affects your life. No karmics. It doesn't affect us. Because when you're high vibrational, you're focused on high vibrational things. You're not focused on pettiness, lies, and slander. Whoever this group was that was involved, they're all going down. All of them. All of them are going down. All right. What's the advice? What's the advice? What is the advice? Yeah, they're saying advice, advice is keep these people blocked, abandon the situation, make plans for the future, move on, pull from that inner strength. You have the strength and courage. Most people would not have been able to deal with what this group put you through. But they're about to find out what it feels like because it's coming back. It's blowing back. The, the blowback is big here. It's really big. In the environment. In the environment. In the environment, people can see that you are fated to come into a divine union that you are embracing a new beginning. Some of you are already in this high level soul connection. You, maybe you're already married to someone. For others, the environment can see that your fate and destiny is to align with someone that's very high vibrational for you to have this brand new beginning. That's in the environment. Yeah, that you're moving on to victory and that you're being spiritually guided to move on to victory. All right, guys. Um, hopes and fears. Hopes and fears. Hopes and fears. Yeah. Somebody is terrified of you coming into a union and being in your full power in the Queen of Wands energy. <clears throat> you're beautiful. You're handsome. You're driven. You're spiritual. You know how amazing you are. You're confident in yourself. You know, somebody's a low vibrational energy can't intimidate you by their insecurity, the projection of insecurity. You just, you see them for who they are. Uh, potential outcome, potential outcome, potential outcome. What's happening quickly is a wish come true. You coming into union with a high vibrational divine masculine, divine feminine energy that's emotionally mature, loving, kind, empathetic, and very intuitive. This is the person you will make an investment with or in. It's beautiful. All right. Let's see, guys. All right current situation we have the death please clarify the death and the current situation somebody's going through an ending uh, an awakening yeah an awakening who's going through this ending who's going through this ending man it's happening quickly tower tower out here twice who's going through this ending tell me about this ending it's a father figure an emperor could be an aries this this doesn't have to be the father of your children. This can be um, a boss. This could be someone that's controlling and dominating. This is the person you walked away from that's going through a tower, and they're going to try and keep it hidden. Tower out here twice. Death and tower twice. They're not going to be able to keep it secret, though. All right. Their challenge, because all of their efforts to try to win at all cost was destroyed. It went back to them. Whatever they did to you is going back to them. It's being done to them. The challenge. Yeah, because you're focused on your passion new beginning, which is a gift and blessing from God. You're this high priestess energy. You rely on your intuition. You rely on your connection with God. And you're focused on passion new beginning. They're upset because whatever they did to try to prevent you from having a new beginning, it did not work. It backfired. All right. The focus, they're focused on you um, in this Empress energy having protection. You're being protected. Did you see that orb? Thank you, Spirit. All right. The focus. Yeah, this is someone from the past. This is someone from the past that's focused on you receiving equal, an equal energy exchange, equal give and take in your relationships, whether it's romantic or friendships. 
you know, if this person would place their focus on their own healing and less on your life, maybe they would, um, things would shift in their favor. But no, they're too obsessed with you. This is someone that in the past there was an interference. This is a very narcissistic feminine energy that's jealous, spiteful. This is a liar. And this is a karmic feminine energy that interfered in your relationship. And you're an earth angel. So big karma happening there. Past energy. Yeah. This is someone that is in a living nightmare. This could be this karmic feminine or both. And they could be unwell. This could be physical or mental illness. Okay? Your strength is you are this high priestess. You rely on your intuition and your connection with God, and you're very committed and devoted. You're too strong for someone to get in your head. Yeah, God. You follow God. And, and no one can take that from you. No one can bully it out of you. All right. Near future, we can see a whole group of people trying to spread lies about you. And guess what? The tower's coming for every single one of them. Near future. Yeah, they're going to go through endings. And you are, are in this Queen of Wands energy, in the upright. All they did was empower you more, make you more committed and devoted, make you more appealing to other people, more inspiring to other people. Wow. We got death twice. We got tower twice. Uh, advice, keep these people blocked. Abandon the situation. Make plans for the future. Pull from that inner strength advice and keep going. Yeah. Be aware because somebody wants to message you that's feeling like they missed an opportunity. But be mindful because this person is in the hangman in reverse, which means they're stuck, stagnant, but refusing to learn anything. They don't want to be enlightened. They don't want to know the truth, and they don't want to be accountable. So be mindful. And I know my collective is not interested. Most of you are not interested in entertaining this person. Uh, near future, we have high-level commitment, or sorry, in the environment. People can see that you're calling in a high-level union that's faded and that you're embracing a new beginning in the environment. People can also see that someone is in regret, wanting to apologize. And it's because you are calling in this twin flame soulmate union and you're moving on. You're moving on to victory, spiritually led. All right, hopes and fears, someone's afraid because you are coming into a high level union and you're in your full power. Can't be manipulated. You're too strong and confident. Hopes and fears, someone's afraid of that. They're afraid of your confidence. Hopes and fears. Yeah. They're also in fear because they're trapped. They're drowning in emotion for you. And the cycle's closed. All right. Uh, potential outcome, what's happening quickly is a, a wish come true. You're calling in this loving, kind, empathetic energy. Someone that's emotionally mature that wants to give equally to you. Potential outcome. Yeah, you're protected. Slow and steady wins the race. This is a long-term commitment. This is victory, success, public recognition, and the potential outcome. That's beautiful. Yeah, king to the queen of cups. Look at that. Divine union. You're coming into union with someone that is equally yoked to you. Someone that's very intuitive, loving, kind, and empathetic. That's amazing. All right. Let's get some letters and signs. See what we get. All right. Truth and only truth for the collective. Who's this reading about? Who's this reading about, please? Aries on the bottom of the deck. We did get the Emperor energy that could uh, apply for some of you, not all of you. All right. Let's see what we got here. We have Cancer, we have the letter T, Taurus, TV, uh, Sag, Y, somebody's name could be Ty, T-Y or Tyler, Aquarius, U, W, Capricorn, R, A, I, L, and C. 
CIA could be involved in an investigation, Central Intelligence Agency. Um, <laughs> okay. Let's see, guys. Yeah, somebody's a liar, and they're about to be exposed as a liar. Whoops, L-I-A-R, liar. Okay, yeah, Ray. Somebody's name could be Ray, or you could be a ray of sunshine. Um... Somebody's name could be Rick or Ricky. I don't have the K, but I have a C. Or Richard. Yeah, somebody was a rat. They're being seen as a rat, a dirty rat. They would do anything for money. Somebody feels like they're in a rut. I feel like this is the karmic energies. They're in a rut. Nothing is, is shifting for them. Nothing has worked. We have Virginia. Virginia, Wisconsin, Louisiana, Rhode Island. Somebody was a tart. I think that's a feminine tart that's loose, a tart. Yeah, somebody could be really in their feels, cry. Somebody could be crying over you. West Virginia. Did I say West Virginia? That. That. I don't know if that means anything to anyone. That. Somebody could work in IT. Somebody could go by the nickname Rye. Rye. <sighs> Utah. Somebody could be, a will could be significant. Somebody could try to have manipulated a will or a will is significant. You're going to be getting money, funds from a will. Somebody could like to eat curry. Los Angeles, California. Somebody's nickname could be Vi. Yeah, somebody thought they were going to trick you. Didn't work. Because you're too witty with wit. You're too intelligent. You're too witty. You knew what was happening before they did. Before they even planned it, you knew it was in the energy. And that's why they want to cry because nothing has worked. And I'm not seeing this, but I want to tell you, they just showed me Salt Lake City. In my mind, I just saw Salt Lake City. So I don't know who needs to hear about Salt Lake City or who's from Salt Lake City, but they just showed me a vision of Salt Lake City, even though it's not here. Somebody lit somebody could be getting lit all the time this is somebody that could have a drug or alcohol abuse issue trying to numb their pain yeah somebody wanted to wage war on you and they don't like it too much now that this spiritual realm is waging war on them that's why they're in their feelings yeah 
Yeah, they, but they were a liar, and the spiritual realm is now bringing what's fair. Somebody may want to come in and ask you to sign some sort of waiver. Read everything carefully. Do not sign anything without reading through it carefully or having someone else to read it. Raw. Someone is, yeah, they're raw in their emotions. Raw. All right, I just heard the Grand Canyon, too. I don't know what that's about. So let me know if that resonates. Grand Canyon. I think I told you Washington. If I didn't, I got Washington as well. All right, let's get a couple advice cards for you guys. Truth and only truth for the collective. Advice. Truth and only truth for the collective. Advice. Advice for the collective. If you guys are interested in scheduling a private reading, I think I have one or two left for this week. Make, ske make sure you schedule sooner than later. And if you're interested in meeting new people, check out Astrodipity. You can find all of my links in the bio TikTok description of YouTube. Okay? You're receiving messages, so pay attention to your thoughts. Working with others is a part of your destiny. You're meant to help humanity in some way. And there is someone in your energy you can't trust. You are already aware of this. And that's why you have kept people from the past out of your life. Don't let fear of the unknown stop you. They want nothing more to get in your head and make you second guess yourself, who you are, what, what your destiny is, how it's wrong. You know, somebody that places judgment and points the finger when they're living an immoral life, that's the, the definition of hypocrisy, right? Definition of hypocrisy. Let them be hypocrites. Surrender them to God. Okay? Man. Somebody's got an STD. You have coming in a divine union and unexpected income. Yeah, it's the person that is immoral with no integrity that has a karmic connection here that has the STD. They're going to go through an ego death. We saw death and tower twice whoops what's this believe in miracles because a miracle will soon happen in your life i love that okay anything else you have spiritual gifts people want to attack you for your spiritual gifts what they don't realize that they're waging war with god because god gave you those gifts and god called you to act upon them God called you to help guide other people. Whether people want to judge you from a religious aspect and say, oh, reading tarot cards is not religious. You don't know my relationship or any tarot reader's relationship with God. It's your own fear and insecurity because you are living a life that is immoral. You're spiritually gifted. This is a player trying to p pass judgment on someone that's spiritually gifted. Yeah, continue to pray. God's got your back. You have a new job or career headed your way. This could be an expansion of your business in the near future. Yeah, it's in the near future. Yeah, look. God's wrath is on all of this group. Toxic friends, God's wrath. Like I said in the reading, this group that worked with someone from your past to try to take you down, God's wrath is on all of them. No one's going to escape it. No one. And whether your past person did actually participate or they just verbally arranged it by getting people riled up, their karma will be far worse than anyone that actually participated because it originated with them. They started it. So... Um, I do see you have a divine masculine or feminine coming into your energy. Uh, you're receiving messages through thoughts, words, dreams, and visions. So pay attention. And I am selling this deck if you guys are interested. It's $28.88. Just send my husband an email, tashas.merch at gmail.com. Um, you just have to pay for the shipping, but it's very reasonable as long as you're not outside of the U.S. And he can let you know how much that will be. Yeah, somebody's fake that's wearing a mask. And they're they're not going to be given any new opportunities. 
because they're not learning this lesson. They just continue to operate in this false energy. So the spirit realm's blocked any new opportunities for this person. There could be an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius involved. This can also represent justice. Yeah, they said you're, they want to continue to get connected, meditate, spend time in nature. You are an earth angel, okay? You have a special mission, and you know that now. For most of you, you already know this. Yeah. Somebody is not happy with the choices they've made, and this is the person that St. Michael is protecting you from, that King of Swords energy. This is someone that's miserable trying to project on you, but St. Michael's not having it. St. Michael is not having it. And that's, you know, like for me, there are all kinds of people that want to project energy. They want to attack me. You don't realize that when you attack someone that's spiritually protected, you are going to get so much karma. You're not hurting the person you're trying to attack. You are waging war on the spiritual realm. You people, These people are just, they're not real smart could be karmic family members your family members or your past person's karmic family members involved yeah look they're narcissist and they have a toxic work environment this is very toxic you have abundance financial stability and blessings headed your way because you are a light, light worker you embraced your destined path or you're in the current moment in the process of embracing it Continue to cleanse your energy. Take spiritual baths. Calling your energy back to you. You are a divine femme. I do see under that earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And so they're saying protect your energy. Cleanse your energy. Do return to sender. That's what I do. Some people say it's not right to do return to sender. But for me, it's about protection. And so if someone is sending ill intent, I'm not going to take on that energy. I'm going to return it. And, you know, it's up to God to decide, you know, what happens with that energy. But I don't want it with me. So I do the return to sender. You know, my spirit guides, if they had a problem with that, would let me know. I'm not concerned that I'm doing anything wrong because they are definitely not afraid to let me know when I make a mistake. <laughs> In a sweet, loving way, of course. <clears throat> well, they're kind of sassy, if I'm being honest. Um all right, so I'm not going to do any more rounds of this. We, we get what's going on here. But I do want to pull from the intuit and just get some messages and see what we need to know. So give me a minute. I'm going to clear a space. I do want to tell you a story, guys, what happened to me about 27 years ago. Um, so some of us we come into to this reality with an abandonment rejection wound from birth this is a past life karmic uh cycle that we needed to end that we didn't so we incarnate with an abandonment rejection wound i do believe that i came into this reality with that wound and um i always thought i was bad i just always thought i was a bad person and about 27 years ago um i had laid down to take a nap and as soon as i fell asleep I was in front of the throne of God. So Christ was before me. Jesus Christ was before me on a beautiful wood ornate um, seat and throne. He was the size of an adult and I was the size of a child. And I was, I could, I was in my body, but I was also outside of my body. So I could see. So he, he was here and then I was in front of him with my butt sitting back on my heels and my chin to my chest. And there was a soft glow. There wasn't bright light. He had a red tunic. And he only said three words to me. He put his right hand on my head and telepathically he said to me, you are good. And I'm telling you, then I woke up immediately. The energy, the power that I felt within him, that, that love, that joy, I could still feel that sensation of his hand on my head when I woke up. It was amazing. So I just wanted to share that story with you guys because I just, I'll never forget that. It just, it, with those three words, it erased the burden that I've carried, I had carried my whole life, that I would never be good, that I would never be good. So, all right, guys, what does the collective need to know? What does the collective need to know? Yeah, the world. 
A new cycle begins. You are gaining wisdom. You've closed out a past cycle. This can also include travel, online work, um, but you are definitely gaining wisdom. Oh, and this could also be the person that you closed a cycle with because now they want to come in and make amends without accountability. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Yeah, you're, you're pre preparing for change. Your harvest is coming in. That's beautiful. Yeah, multiple doors are opening up for you. You are the star energy. A wish is being granted. You're moving on with your life. You're happy. Yeah, you're this high priestess. Highly intuitive. You're able to see beyond the veil. You have inner knowing. You have, you're have you very highly intuitive, psychic. And you're very connected with the divine. And you have this passionate new beginning, a gift and blessing from God. For many of you, this is new love. For others, this is a contract. Yeah, you've been in this hangman energy because you've been learning. God's been giving you enlightenment so that you can move forward in relationships, whether it's career or love or friendships, that are equal give and take, equally. Expecting that. Yeah, for many of you, it's love. Like I said, it's love. It could also be a contract in work. Yeah, you're being elevated nine of pentacles. You are this lady or man of luxury. Finally learned your value and worth. And you're moving on to victory. Spiritually guided, moving on to victory and success. Could also represent travel and ace of cups, being guided toward the divine love energy, whether in union or on your own. Divine love energy. Yeah. Somebody here. They're feeling left out in the cold going through the Ten of Swords. The blockage, Seven of Wands. This is someone that can't defend their actions. They can't. They know what they did was wrong. They can't defend what they did against you. I feel like this is someone going through an awakening, finding the light within. Yeah, this is someone that's waking up to the fact that you were their soulmate. This is King of Swords, somebody that has no empathy. This is a narcissistic energy. Someone that can't speak the truth to save their life. Um, they're going through the tower. Definitely going through the tower. Yeah, this is someone who stalked, slandered. This is someone that is feeling humiliated now. Ten of Wands in reverse. They're being embarrassed, humiliated. Could be public, public humiliation. Sorry, guys, I dropped one. Could be public humiliation, but... Yeah. They're tied to their addictions. They're tied to the devil. They're tied to um, dark, low vibrational energy. And they're obsessed. They're obsessed. Yeah, this someone is definitely either doing black magic, paying for black magic, or projecting some really nasty energy. And this is what they have to pay for. Definitely. Yeah. You know, this person can be someone that ends up with a massive illness because of their karma. Yeah, they're just repeating the same thing. They're sitting in the energy of the Four of Cups, you know, feeling like depressed, unmotivated, feeling tired, feeling like they made the wrong decision, and you're staying to yourself in this hermit energy. You're focused on your future. You're not focused on the past. So that's pretty amazing. You guys deserve to have freedom from this nasty energy. This person needs to learn their lesson. <clears throat> and stay out of your energy. The more they project on you, the more they call you crazy, the harder their life is gonna be, the bigger their karma is gonna be. But this person is so dark, low vibrational, egotistical, that it's gonna take the divine just destroying everything in order for them to wake up. And so be it, that's between them and God. We got, show the world the real you. Don't be afraid to shine because you're good enough. You were always good enough. So 
for the collective. What do they need to know? Let's see what we got. Surrender to the divine. Surrender to God. Everything to God. The answers you need are coming. Right now is a time for healing. We haven't done our cute little bunny deck, so let's do our bunny deck, guys. Oops. Sorry. All right. Where's the little bunny deck? I did with the bunny deck okay I found it you guys are doing an amazing job and I'm so grateful that you're here I appreciate all of you I appreciate your love your prayers your donations your private sessions all right let's see guys All right, first card out is Hungry Bunny. My life is a feast of opportunity. You definitely change your perspective. Um, you know that by being in a high vibration, you can call in whatever you want. You are enough. I overflow with the energy of creation. You are enough. And then we got Bend and Be. I adapt, shift, and grow. I am unbreakable. Repeat that. You are unbreakable. You know... Whoever your past person was that had to work like a coward with a group of people, they won't survive when that happens to them. They're going to fall apart. They don't have the strength that you have. Star guidance. I follow my dreams to greater knowing. The bottom of the deck says self-love. I love myself exactly as I am. That's beautiful. All right, let's see. Let's do Queen of the Moon Oracle, then we'll close this reading out, guys. And I don't know what the title of this reading will be. We'll see if Spirit gives me any songs or titles. All right. For the collective. For the collective. Yeah, we got boundaries. Continue to keep those boundaries up. You are being protected, and balance is being restored in your life, okay? Yeah, it's because you've released. You've released control. You've released people, places, or things that no longer serve you. This is why balance is being restored for you. Yeah, and you got someone that's creeping. This masculine energy. It could be a female. It doesn't matter. This is just a masculine energy. Creeping. Sniffing around your energy. This is a masculine energy that's going to learn a really hard lesson. Whoever they are. A really hard lesson. Because when I tell you the blowback is going to be bad, it's going to be bad. Yeah, you are focused on a new beginning. You trust in God. Yeah, and whoever tried to create resistance is in fear now because of your power. Because God is in you. This person, whoever they are, this masculine energy... <clears throat> they're in fear now yeah they're also in darkness this is someone that could be going through the dark night of the soul an ego death public humiliation yeah you've surrendered this person you've surrendered this person and you're using your free will to choose a new direction they said expect the unexpected because you are attracting all that you desire yeah whatever you're manifesting is coming to fruition that's beautiful. Wow. I love it. All right, guys. I think we'll go on. I'll, I'll see you on the next reading. Um, give me a little bit of time, and I will post the second reading. But I hope you guys have an amazing day, and I love you. Bye-bye.